Hello, so this is slightly different from the channel, something a bit new, but I wanted to show you the games that really stood out for me during the Xbox and Bethesda showcase that took place on the 12th of June. As I've said, these are games that stood out to me, some highlights, favourites, and possibly some games that I might bring to the streams over on Twitch in the future. You might have similar thoughts, you might like the same games, you might completely disagree with me. Either way, I really hope you enjoy. And if you do, please, please, please drop a like, drop a subscribe, and even comment like the game you are most looking forward to in the future. So, as I said, I really hope you enjoy. Thank you. <gasps> Silk Song. Ah, oh, where's Sammy when you need him, eh? Gonna have to go back to Hollow Knight, I think, at some point. Definitely builds off the success of Black for Blood, yeah. You're the only one that can stop them. <laughs> Realize we're gonna have to take out the entire alien drug cartel. You're just gonna leave me here in in what space? Everybody lives in space, in, including you. So the gun right, you're a bounty you. hunter now. You gotta help me rescue my friends. They're Gatlians, just like me. Hey, why are you squeezing me so tight? How about a little dinner first and some bubble bath maybe first? Look at us, blasting away! Oh yeah, that's one of my children. They die fast. Don't worry, it's easy to make more. <laughs> Okay. You're not a Rick Rick Morty fan. Oh. I'm knifey. Stab. Stab. Yes, more, more. I need more stabbing. <laughs> this is so bizarre. Everyone fight each other. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amicia. For Hugo. He's not dead yet. Oh. Okay. The macula's not just in Hugo's blood. It concerns everybody. And it can change everything. No! Ah! Ah! It looks like that, um... Flesh. It is, yeah, it's the, the Plague game. I never got around to playing it, but it's meant to be really good. Oh, I don't think Luke, you played this, didn't you? The, the Plague. Yeah. The first one's meant to be really good. I think Luke played it. You're only making it worse. Amicia, don't. Oh, I thought it 
Might I'm tired else of being afraid. Yeah. I'll show them that it's over. Finally. <laughs> I got it. I think I got it free at one point on the PlayStation Network. No, might have been. Might have been Ben. Yeah. Yeah, it might have been Ben. You go. Oh. I feel like though, this might be that might be some sort of spoiler if we haven't played the first one. <laughs> Did very <gasps> is this what I think it is? I've been Is it what I think Ah, oh, I've seen trailers for this 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 I think this <sighs> Yes Look at that Looks sensational. Scorn. Brilliant. Oh. Guess what we're playing in October. When the gods first emerged from the great below, we saw them as saviors. Instead, they unleashed a pestilence on our world. No one yet knows if you can kill a god. I, okay. for one, intend to find out. You missed an amazing trailer for a game called Scorn. Um, I'm sure it'll be up on YouTube. Uh, Falls of Hot Wheels. And now whatever this is, which looks pretty cool. Scorn and S C O R N. Flintlock. That's pretty cool. A bit like um, a Dishonored meets Souls like. Get a cool pet in it as well. Hello, anyone here? This is cool. Since I found the first piece, there must be more. That's him. My father. I can guide you through his memories. It's been like um
That looks cool. Helios. They search for someone who does not exist. The shadow. The forgotten child of a scattered race. Lost. This is cool. Until now. Now they have awakened the Erebon. Now they have awakened me. But I am not their hope. I am their reckoning. Do like a, a stealthy game. They will not drag me into their light. I like the look of this already. Yes. Mark me down horny and scared. God damn. That looks amazing. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We're so grateful on, Todd, that you're spending the time, and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of well. Crete. That's not bulls out like he did for like 76, eh? Oh, 
Nope. There's the power armor. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility oh, is in this direction. around 10 frack grenades, just chuck one of them. Okay, so, like most space sims out there, <laughs> collecting resources. They just made a better looking No Man's Sky or something. It would appear that pirates of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. Ooh, space pirates. It is, right? It's a better looking No Man's Sky. see some big monsters or something. I thought that said fucking dick pics then for a minute. Not digi pics. I thought it said dick pics. I was like, what the hell? When we get in there, it looks good. It does look good. Spider-Man's coming to PC now, isn't it? Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. We're all here. Wolverine does look good. That should be good. Shame we didn't see any more of that um, with the PlayStation What's event. Out there. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. The building Halo. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered Ooh. across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, <coughs> the settled systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! The fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UCC Step. Together, we take down these cultural pirates. 
Those pirates look pretty cool looking. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out they got cool armor. Is oh, death. That's the probably what I'd go for. Cool looking one. Ooh. There we go. That's why I want big scary aliens. Most dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. See, building Halo. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. <coughs> it's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system well, combines the best from underwear. our previous games. You probably could do. You can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with resources you find, to crafting weapon mods and needed to survive. Okay. I like that in Fallout 4, where they let me upgrade weapons and stuff like that. I did like that. And you can build your own outposts. These no Man's Sky. As a home away from home. No Man's Sky. And resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one. And you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. But that's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. I mean, that'd be cool. You can choose crew members. And yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. Amazing. I do like the sound of that. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool. We just absolutely love this. It's not just how the ship looks, the it's how it performs. YouTube from videos or TikToks and stuff, like people systems, trying to recreate because, famous yes, you can spaceships from films and stuff. Thrusters boosted. I mean, this looks pretty cool. But yeah, they did, yeah, Fallout 76. It went tits up, didn't it? But this looks pretty cool. As much as it looks like No Man's Sky. But there's a lot of games out there like that. You know, there's, um, there's Elite Dangerous, there's um, Starcraft as well. It is Starcraft, I can't. But this does look cool. Be interested to know how big it is as well. to experience mm, the game definitely. thanks again for being with us today and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades especially on this game it's been an incredible journey 
for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning, for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. And you may be wondering, just how big is this game? There we so go. we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. Anywhere on the planet. And it's not just this planet. It's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource-heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Okay. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. We can't wait to see what you find. Seems close to fall like fall. It's very much No Man's Sky-ish. Uh, just yeah, a lot, a lot better looking. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued.